Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is just um additional video for uh basic of math uh, reference. So I will uh going to do some uh overview what we are going to have on your final exam. Okay, let's start from the first one. Is the contents? Okay, so the contents. Okay, of course, the basic things you are going to uh, to have or to prepare is the basic fundamentals. Such as numbers and um, algebra. This I considered as uh, fundamentals of math. And the second thing is uh, functions. So topics like uh, domain, range, uh, inverse. You should be aware of that. Okay. Uh, next is a quadratic. And polynomials. Right? So topics like how to find the uh, what is the remainder, uh, quotient, and um, we have learned also the Descartes rule. So finding roots, right? Finding roots, etc. Okay. So that's the quadratic and uh, polynomials. The next one is the exponent or indices, like five with power of x, or even e, right? It's that's the, the indices exponent. Also, the logarithm. This is the inverse of the exponent, right? So, log a, b, c, like that. And the other one is trigonometry. Okay. This is start from the basic, the triangle. The uh, identity. Identity means you have the double angle, right? The sum, uh, the, the difference, and so on, right? Also, a uh, circle, okay? That's the trigonometry. Uh, next is we learn about the linear system, right? Linear system, matrix, right? Um, solving, oh, not solving, Gaussian, right? Gaussian method, and so on. From the matrix, you get how to find the determinant, right? Grammar's rule, and so on and so forth. Okay, and then uh, we move on to our PBL topics, which is uh, we have several topics, okay, including the uh, trigonometry we have on identity. So I hope you guys can find or um, solving some. Of finding some some questions regarding to all these topics okay number seven is the uh, the polar let me start with, with the polar polar means uh, you are connecting the trigonometry from the circle to polar so you should be able to or you should be studied how to transform the Cartesian to polar or polar to Cartesian. Okay. 
So from X, Y Cartesians, it transformed to R and theta as well. And from R theta to also to Cartesian. Okay, you need to uh, be aware of that for polar. And next is a uh, factor. But I think for the finals, I will just focus on two dimensional factors. Okay. Next is the conic sections. I will just focus on two types the hyperbola, oh, not hyperbola, sorry, the ellipse. and the uh, parabola ellipse is as in uh, x squared a squared uh, plus okay and depends which one is bigger a or b you can determine whether the ellipse is like this or like this okay and also, uh, you have to also define the focus, the rectrix, right, and center of ellipse. Of course, if ellipse is on this x squared and y squared, this will be centered at 0, 0. But when the center is changing is when we have this. Let's say this is... Uh, so the x is shifted, okay, x is shifted, okay. Also in parabola, the parabola in conic section is having a different, a different form. Like for example, this is what usually we have, or this is what usually we have. You need to know what is A, okay, and what's the relations with, again, we have focus and the rectrix, okay. And this two has a vertex at zero, zero. So whenever you have changed your Y or X, like for example, This will change the vertex. Okay. Okay, so that's the, the conic sections. The other uh, other topics is the sequence and series. Oh, by the way, on vectors, please, you need to aware of how you write the factors, like I using I, J and K, okay? Or in our case here, it's just I and J because on 2D factors. Also, you need to also aware of the, the dis dis distance, like uh, if you have a vector A, And you have on that vector. You have for position A and position B. You know you need to. You can you can find the vector AB, right? And you can also find the distance, the magnitude. Okay. So I hope you already uh, learned, and I think you can also remember from other course like physics as well, because it's also mentioning about vectors. Okay. Now the sequence and series we will have at least we only focus on arithmetic and geometric okay and also uh, please study also about the summation or or uh or we call also a partial sum and lastly maybe you can also try to learn about infinite sum you can find i think this is quite basic so 
I hope it 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 is not too um not too difficult. So for example, in arithmetic you have the d, and in geometry you have the r, the ratio. So r, so this is example on how it looks like, and from here you can rearrange uh, the the formula for the geometry. Also for d, usually you have a and then a plus d, a plus two d and etc okay okay that's the topics for uh, finals the finals will be having uh, two parts first is the multiple choice second is having the um, detailed steps method okay. and the time is two hour and i hope um, you have enough time okay okay what else that we need to have okay okay maybe i'm adding some uh, info about the polar equation so polar uh what you need to have or what you need to prepare is you need just to uh, these relations okay okay and also these relations all these relations is needed to convert the Cartesian to polar or polar to Cartesians. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that's it for the contents, and yeah, I hope you can study independently. Okay. And hopefully, uh, you can have more insight. Um, if you want to have like um, example or a question um, maybe we can have uh that as well okay maybe i will give you um an example okay perhaps the um some of the topics that you are not really familiar with okay um okay let me check Okay, let me start maybe from the polynomials, okay, polynomials. Let's say we have a polynomial Px. Um, this is the equation. It has some constant a, right? And the question is when? Px divided by let me write the question first, okay? So 
A, B, C, all are constants. So the question is find A, B, and C. Okay. Okay, so check the question. So first you can try. Okay, but let me just fill in for you. Okay, so it says that when px is divided by x squared minus x plus 2, the quotient is this. So let me write, okay, let me write, uh, let me just write px divided by x squared minus x plus 2 is equal x squared plus px plus 1 plus dcx plus 5 divided by x squared minus x plus 2 or we can say that dpx is equal x squared plus bx plus 1 multiply with x squared minus x plus 2 and this is plus cx plus 5 okay so let me write the px is x4 plus 2x cubed plus 9x plus a and let's solve this okay let's solve this so x squared x squared okay Oh, forget to write that CX here. Okay. So it's 2B. Uh, okay, 2B plus C. Minus 1. Okay. And then plus 2, 2 plus 5 is 7. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, if we look here, A is the constant 7. And so we can write A is 7. And... Oh. This should be about X. Sorry, I forgot to write that. And 2b plus c minus 1 is equal 9. And then 3 minus b is equal 0. So b is 3. And the other one is uh, b minus 1. Is 2. Oh. This is already so, so to be oh here to be six plus c minus one is nine so c is four so this is a b c okay I think the most important thing is you understand at least how you get this uh, polynomials remainder situations okay. Okay, the next questions. Uh, let me write numbers. Uh, this is about the sequence, okay, sequence series. So numbers A, B, C in 
that order are geometric progression with common ratio let's say r okay and then given further a to b and c in that order are arithmetic progression okay determine possible values of uh, of r Okay, so you can solve it first and then try to compare with my results, okay? Okay, so first, so let's write A. Let's say A is our first terms, okay? Uh, or let me write A, B, and C. So let's write as A and then the second terms in a uh, geometric. So this is the geo, this is AR, and this third one is the AR squared okay and then we have a to b and c in arithmetic they will have the difference d which means that 2b minus a is equal c minus 2b or we can write this as 4b equal a plus c since we have this uh, definition from the beginning, we can exchange that with all uh, ratio, uh, AR. Okay? So 4, this is AR, and then A plus AR squared. Okay, now we have, we can have 4R, 1 plus R squared. So R squared minus 4R uh, plus 1. Okay, you can use the uh, formula for ABC, right? ABC formula to find the quadratic uh, roots. But um, just to make you familiarize, we can have this. Like if you remember, if have this, okay. Then we will have should be having this right so this will be r minus 2 squared okay so to make it equal with this then we need to minus 3 so this is minus 3 so so r so r is 2 plus minus square root of 3 so this is the answer okay Another uh, example for practice is Okay. 
Maybe about trigonometry. Okay, trigonometry. Question is first proof and a second solve another equations uh, okay. so first we need to prove this this cosine x plus secant x squared is equal cos squared x plus tangent squared x plus 3. Okay, now we are, to, to prove, we need to prove, we need to uh, write from the left equations or the right equation. So let, let's start from the left. This will result in cos squared x plus 2 cosine x secant, secant x plus secant squared x, okay? This will be cos squared x plus 2. This is cos x like that, okay? And the secant we can rewrite as 1 plus tangent squared x, okay? This will be cancelled and we will get cos squared x plus tangent squared x plus 3. So, when we have the cos squared x plus tangent squared x equal 13 over 4, okay, we can uh, add both sides by 3 and then we can write down this as cos plus secant cos x plus secant x and then squared and this will be uh, 20 25 over 4 okay. and we can write this cos x plus secant x is plus minus 5 over 2 And still, we need to solve. Okay, let me change the color. This is cos x plus 1 over cos x equal 5 over 2. So let's multiply all with the cos x. So that we have cos squared x plus 1 plus minus 5 over 2 cos x. equals 0 or uh, 2 cos sine squared x plus 1 plus minus 5 cos x equals 0. So we will have two equations. First is second is Sorry, should be two, uh, two. Okay, now this correct. Okay. Okay. Next is we imagine this uh, becoming y. Okay. 2y squared plus 5y plus 2. This will result uh, right. Okay. This will be resulting in let me move all going up 
I'm gonna size out a bit. Okay. So this will be 2y plus 1, y plus 2. Okay, the other one. We can have 2y squared 5 and plus 2. So we will have the other one is 2y minus 1, y minus 2. This will result 2y is negative 1, or y is negative half, y is a negative 2. This y is positive, positive. Of course, because y is cos x, okay? This is impossible, right? And this is also impossible. So we will only take this as our results. That is when cos x is half and when cos x is a negative half. So we will have x is pi over three, two over three pi, four pi, 5 over 3 and 5 over 3 pi. This is when cos is negative half or just positive half. Okay, so that's uh, also one example. I yeah, hope it's not too complicated for you, but uh, I want you to having more and more uh, practice. Okay. Okay, the other equation. Okay. Let me go through the the conics, okay. About parabola. Let me write the questions. A parabola has a focus at t one one, okay, and the directrix has equation, okay. Let's just say we have to find the equations equation of parabola is that's the question the second one is sketch sketch and proof it's lactus rectum what is that i will let you know later okay after this is 12 units So first read the questions and whether you understand or not, uh, I hope you understand the question. Okay, so Okay, so, 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 uh, let me draw. Uh, let's say we have a uh, directrix around here. Let's say this is T, okay, this is all one, one. So this is the focus. So first you need to understand what the the idea here. 
what is the idea? So the parabola in the conic sections, it has a certain property that when you are connecting the line from the focus, let's say this is the P, okay, P is the parabola, point on parabola, let's say X, Y, should be more uh, let, let me just redraw this to make it more uh, clear okay so this is t and this is the uh, let's say q okay. q is 7 y okay and this will be an, an some some parabola so imagine the parabola is actually having uh, like that. That's just the parabola. So so the idea here is from the focus to point of P and from P to point Q, the directrix, this should have the same amount of distance. Okay which means we can write down the distance formula from P T is equal for, to Q. So P T equal P Q. So for P T, the distance formula, I hope you still remember the distance. This is, or if not, you can just using the triangle and Pythagorean theorem, right? is equal pq pq is uh, the a is the 7 minus x okay we solve this okay we can solve this try to square both sides and we have this and then we can solve uh, let me solve the x first okay This will cancel and the middle one the y squared is okay not too difficult there This will be um, 48. Minus 12 X. Okay, okay. Okay, now we can write as uh, Okay, now this is the equations. And remember that the equation of parabola and conic sections it may have this certain looks okay the a means uh, the a means the the distance okay so this will be the distance And we may sketch the curve. And you don't need to sketch really smooth, just um, 
roughly sketch the graphics, that will be okay. So if this is the uh, if this is the let me write if this is the T the lactus rectum uh, let me draw the the lactose structure is this. Okay. This is the lactose structure. Okay, so when x equal one, the equations will be. So this y is 7 or y is negative 5. So this will be a 7. This will be a negative 5. So the lactose rectum will be having the 12 units, okay, 12 units. Okay, that's the, the conics. Okay, I think uh, for the uh, example, I think I will stop at that and I hope you can find more example on your own and having a practice and yeah, see you on the final on uh, next week, okay?